Welcome to Cultural Diversity. This tutorial is going to uh, navigate, show you how to navigate the Blackboard course shell that I've put together for you and really kind of go over the lay of the land as it goes, as it relates to our course. Um, this is not to replicate the material that's on the syllabus. There is a, another video tutorial that I have created that really walks you through the requirements and expectations of the course. Um, this, this video is truly just to familiarize um, you with the Blackboard shell. So I'm just going to go into our Blackboard. This is our front page. Um, when you go into the course, this is the announcements page. This will be what you first see when you walk into the course. Um, I will communicate with you frequently through the announcements forum here. So it is important that you have your Lewis email or an email attached to Blackboard so that when I do send announcements out, you are receiving those. Um, what you'll see here on the left side of your screen below announcements is the course materials. I may refer to this as course content or course materials. Uh, this is where you're going to fall, find the bulk of our course. You'll see that there's course handbooks, instructions, and tips, and we'll go in there soon. Each week has a folder associated with it. In the front page of this folder, what you'll see is the expectations and requirements for the week. So for, for week one, you'll introduce yourself in the discussion boards, read all of Issues and in Inequality 1 through 8, um, which is the supplemental readings in your text. You'll explore the highlights. I've created some outlines that will help guide your reading. Watch Faces of America. This is a supplemental uh, media. You do not have to watch it, though it is included. Answer chosen question in the discussion boards. Uh, respond to others in the discussion boards and then start on your final paper. All the materials, if you go into the week one folder, you'll see are found here, including links up to the discussion board, uh, supplemental readings in the case that you do not um, have access to the 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 textbook the first week, you have all readings that are associated with the first week available as PDFs. Also issues and inequality, again these are some notes that may help you guide your reading. And then the discussion uh, questions related to week one. Uh, if you have any questions on how to navigate the discussion boards, I will show you. I have created a tutorial and I'll show you where you can locate that. Different activities, some supplemental reading, again the supplemental media. So this is the week one folder and what you're going to find is each, each week has a similar folder with course content uh, provided. What you're going to find um, also underneath here is the syllabus and paper requirements. If you go into the syllabus, what you're going to see is a, a video tutorial of me walking you through the requirements and essentially uh, going over the syllabus as we would in a traditional face-to-face -face course. You can download the syllabus here. There's a PDF version. And I've also uh, embedded a picture here of the diverse, our diversity course schedule. Uh, what you can do is you can see that we are in class for eight weeks. And you can take a look here and you can understand, hopefully you can understand what we're covering during each week, the topic, the assignments related to that week, and then the readings and uh, quizzes related to that week. Also, final paper requirements and then the online module that was created for the course can be located here. Uh, this discussions will take you into our discussions for each, each week. You'll also find a place for your course introductions. I'll be posting my introduction shortly. And students are encouraged to introduce themselves in the discussion boards in addition to participating in the first week's discussion boards. Again, you can find all the discussion boards. Um, for week one through seven, because we only have discussions week one through seven, available through the discussions link. These are also linked up through the week that they're also required. Uh, the blogs, you can find links to the blogs through here on the left side. Um, all your grades will be located here under, again, following the link on the left side of your screen. Uh, keep in mind the grades, I, my goal is to grade things within 24 to 48 hours, though I do ask for up to a week to get grades uh, re submitted to you. Uh, the handbook instructions and tips, and this was also located in course content. This has a lot of goodies in here, and so I want to spend some time discussing this. Um, I briefly introduce you to the course rhythm. 
you know, the, getting used to hitting the ground running, understanding when things are due um, is really important because the class does have a rhythm that once you find your groove, you know, you'll be good. It's the problem is, is if you have trouble finding your groove in the beginning, it could set us back. So it's really important to take a look and read the requirements, the due dates, and have a good understanding of how you plan on navigating this. Online courses require a lot of self-motivation and self-discipline. You'll find that uh, tips to be successful will be located here and I am available if you need me. So please, if you have any questions, do feel free to email. Uh, so I have created some subfolders here and what I've done is all things discussion boards, all things media blogs, all things final paper, critical thinking resources, and all things Blackboard. If you're interested in some Blackboard, Blackboard tutorials and some web resources that Lewis has put together for you, um, they are located in the Blackboard folder. Critical thinking resources, a number of resources that I have gathered uh, related to helping you think critically and analytically, uh, things that I will be asking you to do throughout the course. Um, you know, we won't spend much time as a class discussing critical thinking, but I will have, uh, I am under the, under the assumption that you have read and taken a, a look at and understand critical thinking, what critical thinking is, and that it does come into play in all three of the areas which you'll be assessed in the discussion boards, media blog and in your final paper. What you can do is you go go for all the things discussion boards and what you'll find here is the video tutorial that I have created for you related to discussion boards, the rubric that I will be using to evaluate your discussion boards, and also um, you know some tips on how to evaluate resources and netiquette uh, can be provided here. All things media blocks. What you can see here is, you know, how to. So I believe there's some screenshots of the walk you through the process of how to create a blog. If there's any question to that, and how to comment on your peers' blogs. Also, the rubric that I will be using to assess your blogs are also available here, and a video tutorial, essentially walking you through the requirements related to the media blogs. All things final paper. Um, all I have in here right now is the requirements for the paper. At some point I will put together a tutorial for you related to the requirements associated with the final paper. Um, if you have any concerns, you know, feel free to email me. I am available. The, the number one way to get a hold of me is through email, though I have provided you with my cell phone number in the syllabus. I do ask that you only use that number for emergencies. You're welcome to text me, but again, limit that to emergencies. The best way to contact me is through email. Um, and so if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Good luck in the course, and I look forward to a great